Well, hello, Blue Star family. I am here with one of my favorite books by Cleo Wade, What the Road Said. I am Dr. Luss, superintendent of Hamilton Community Schools, and I'm very excited to share this book with you today. Let's begin. Have you ever wanted to go in a different direction? Have you ever wondered if there was something more, something out there, something just different? I did too. Then one day I was walking my usual way home when out of nowhere, for no reason at all, almost as if it were magic, a road appeared. I could not believe my eyes, so I walked over to it and... I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. How do I start? I asked. The road smiled and said, you've already started. Well, what happens when I get there? We have just begun, said the road. Do not skip straight to the ending. Enjoy the beginning and the middle too. Which way do I go? That is your choice to make, said the road. What if, what if I go in the wrong, wrong way? The road curved a little, almost as if it was giving me a hug and said, do not worry. Sometimes we go the wrong way on our way to the right way. What if I get scared? That is okay, you are brave, said the road. But what does it mean to be brave? I asked. The road guided me through a very gloomy forest. Even though I was frightened, I trusted the road. And as I looked one step and then another step, after that, the road gently whispered. Being brave is when you are afraid of doing something, but you do it anyway. But do not let what scares you keep you from continuing on your path. Will I always move forward? Not always, said the road. Why not? Because sometimes you will stumble backward and sometimes you will stand still. What if I fall? Everyone falls at some point, said the road. But I will always, I will always be there when you land. What if I get lost? There may be some days that feel long and dark, said the road, but I promise that no matter what, I will give you the evening stars and morning sun to lighten your way. What if I grow weary of or get hurt? I will give you the trees of all shapes and sizes to shelter you when you need to rest and heal, said the road. What if I get lonely? You are never alone, said the road. What if I change? Come with me, said the road. As I move forward, the road introduced me to a caterpillar in a family of seeds. We will not stay long, the road began taking me on a new journey through the seasons. I watched summer turn to fall and fall turn to winter and as spring was upon us, I realized we had gone in one big beautiful circle. I looked down and found I was standing in front of the caterpillar and the seeds once more. Only the caterpillar was no longer a caterpillar and the seeds had turned to flowers of every color, swaying in the sun. The road then raised me up and said, all things grow and change, that is the magic of being alive. You too will find your wings and you too will bloom. No living thing is meant to stay the same. What if I need help on my journey? Ask your fellow travelers along the way. What if they are mean to me? Lead them to kindness, said the road. How? By being kind. What if they want to fight? Lead them to peace, said the road. But how do I lead them to peace? By listening to their stories, telling them yours, and reminding them you are all on this journey together. But 
if the world around us is filled with hate, lead it to love. How? By sharing the power of your love with it, said the road. What if something unexpected happens? Keep going. What if there are mount mountains that feel too tall to climb? What if there are rivers that feel too wide to cross? What if I get my heart broken? What if I feel stuck? What if giving up is easier? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, said the road. What if I can't do it? You can, said the road. How do you know? Because you have come this far, said the road. I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. This is a great book and I have really enjoyed reading it to you today. Hopefully you will take this book and read it yourself. I thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you grab a book during March's reading month. Enjoy it, read multiple books, and hopefully you enjoy this one. Take care, thank you again for your time, and as always, go Hawkeyes.